Why is it that we're always surprised when someone we know dies? Bob gently reminded us that death is inevitable. It would have been his 74th birthday in just a few weeks' time. But he would argue that it's not the length of time that counts. It's how we receive, transmit and exchange positive energy. Bob did his job brilliantly. He allowed his readers to access their humanity while grappling with the social implications of his research into selling and buying. Pace. Time. And that stranger in the mirror? You and your many selves. It's a rare talent that imprints curiosity on your soul and leaves us all feeling we know him personally. When I met him last year, it turns out I did know him. The difference being, I was directly experiencing the human conduit he was, the effortlessly and quietly radiating states of kindness, caring and compassion, while passing on helpful ideas. So, thanks Bob. Your compelling and generous evidence makes our lives well worth experiencing, practicing and sharing. It's time that fills the gap between the cradle and the grave. But it's your pace that matters more than time's parts, past, present, future. And while death awaits us all, our energy never dies. Bob's energy, thankfully, remains very much alive.